Uh, we talked to him earlier, DJ Render. Can you break down what he's like as a receiver compared to what he was like as a defensive back for you guys? Um, so, I mean, DJ, he's an athletic kid. I mean, you see him on special teams. He's a very versatile guy. And, I mean, he was, what, a receiver for three years and then tried out DB. Um, but he's a guy that's always willing to do whatever you want for him. But he's a quick, shifty receiver. He can catch the ball pretty well. So, um, he's definitely an asset for the offense. And it's good to see him catching balls out there and stuff like that. You guys, have a de as a defense, have uh, put up some points the last couple of weeks with these pick six pick sixes what what's the secret to pulling those off and how much pride do you guys take in scoring on defense um I would say I mean our defense we pride ourselves on being smart I mean outsmarting the other team um good situational ball coach Klanerman puts us in the right spot um I mean you see Justin Gardner that was just a smart play by him he saw two offensive linemen pull into the back with that running back sneaking out and he was just sitting there I mean you saw Wyatt almost picked it off as well so I would just say, I mean, our players are smart. Um, we're in the right spots at the right time, but you got to give the credit to Coach Klanerman putting us in the right spot. Do you guys feel uh, any momentum building now that you got four in a row? Or can you – what's it like in the locker room being on a winning streak like this? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you love winning games and stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, we, we remember Arkansas State. I think that was definitely a gut check for all of us. And we keep that same mindset every week. I mean, we're an underdog again. Um, but, you know, as a defense, you know, we want to keep it rolling. We want to keep getting off the field, three and outs and stuff like that. Fitz. Hey, Ross, I got two for you. Uh, one about defense. Uh, how is Ross Elder playing and what does Ross Elder need to do better? I would say, I mean, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable playing. I mean, it's what, my fourth game. Um, against KU back there at free. Um, just getting more comfortable within the game. I need to tackle better. I need to tackle more consistent. Um, finish on the ball a little bit better. But I think I can be a better communicator, but that just comes with more experience and stuff like that. So, Special teams, how fun is it to be part of the core group of the special teams units? <laughs> it's awesome, man. I mean, we got a lot of players that buy into it, like Brock Monty, Landry Weber. And Stanton Weber, I mean, you got to give him credit for coming up with schemes. He spends more time than anybody in the country on special teams. And um, it's really cool to see, you know, guys like Brock and Landry and everybody invest their time in special teams because it's, it's, it's a third of the game. And most teams don't realize that. But here we do. And the coaches put the time into it. And um, we take it very seriously. And, I mean, it shows on the field. We have been scoring, scoring some touchdowns the past couple of games. So it's, it's pretty big for us. Thank you, sir. Adam? Another question on DJ Render. DJ has a very fun and silly personality. He um, always makes people laugh just by his actions. Just what's it like having someone like his personality on the field and in the locker room just always making people laugh and cracking jokes? I mean, you love to see it. Um, so he was in the DB locker room, what, for the past year? So I was around him a lot. He's always he's always talking and stuff, cracking jokes. So it's always good to have somebody like that in the locker room that you know uplifts every other person behind him and stuff like that. Um, yeah, his personality. I mean, it's it's something else, but it's awesome having him in the locker room. Do you have one thing in particular he's ever said or done that you would say is at the top of his list that makes people laugh? <laughs> he's always singing. I mean, people make fun of that all the time. He's always singing in the locker room, but. I think that kind of will speak for itself. Maybe you guys will see it someday.